me um, where you did your undergrad degree and how you chose to go about it. And where were you in your career when you decided to apply to PA? So in terms of my undergrad journey, so like I mentioned at the beginning of the session, I did my undergraduate degree in honors biochemistry with a minor in psychology. So I honestly, I look back at how little I knew when I first started university and how much I've grown since then. And to be completely honest, the way that I picked my specialty in undergrad was really, well, I like biology and I like chemistry. I'm not too good at physics. So I guess biochemistry sounds pretty good to me. And then I didn't realize that I was applying to one of the more competitive streams at Mac. I honestly, I should have done more research into picking my specialty, but I would say that the more thought out process in terms of, you know, choosing my undergrad path was when I chose to minor in psychology because I took a psychology course in first year. And that's when I really fell in love with the content. I like the avenue that biochemistry gave me in terms of opportunity, and it really exposed me to research. And that was something that, you know, I wasn't sure if I would enjoy. And I liked that I had the opportunity to do research to find out if that was really something for me. So that's kind of why I liked the biochemistry part of my degree. But the psychology aspect of my degree, that was strictly just because I love the content, learning about the human mind, learning about why we behave the way we do, how the brain processes and functions. It's so intriguing to me. So that was really why. And honestly, I'm so happy that I got an opportunity to pursue both biochemistry and psychology courses because they really gave me a nice balance of information that I'm actually able to apply in PA school. So maybe in PA school, I don't have to talk about all the amino acids that we did in biochemistry, but there certainly is like an aspect, you know, just the very systematic way of thinking, you know, we do a lot of clinical reasoning and in biochemistry, we also were exposed to problem-based learning. So that's very similar, especially in terms of how we learn at, in PA school at Mac. And then the psychology aspect, just being able to understand the human mind, it really benefits you in any human interaction you have, especially with your patients. So that was kind of where I went in terms of my degree. Um, but really just like my PA journey, I really was just trying to get into like the MD programs. I was like trying to check off all the boxes for the required courses. Biochemistry gave me all of those, and then psychology. And then I had room for electives that I could take. And then really by the time I ended up getting into fourth year, that's when I discovered when I was almost done, I discovered of the PA profession, which was I honestly, I discovered the PA profession about two months before applications actually opened. And that's when I like just did all of my research. That's when I looked into the profession even more on my own, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, got to really know a bit about the profession more. So I actually got into the PA game pretty late. So I honestly commend anybody here in the Q&A who's like in high school or the beginning of their undergrad, because really you're much more ahead than I am, that's for sure. I did my undergrad at the University of Guelph and I majored in biomedical science and I decided around my second year to do a minor in neuroscience. Um, the cool thing about Guelph that differs from Mac is that you kind of go into your stream. You don't really like, like most schools you start off in like a general life sci and then you apply to like a more distinguished stream. But for us, there is that option. Like you can go into that route. But for me, I knew in, I knew in high school that I wanted to do something in like the medical field. So I knew that biomed was for me. I looked at all the courses when I was in high school in grade 12. Um, and you know, they took the anatomy, they took the physiology, um, they took all like the pharmacology courses, the ones that I was truly interested in. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it yet, but I knew that I wanted to study it. So I chose biomed and went in immediately into my stream. And, you know, two years in, um, I started looking into professions and it was nice to have the courses that biomed gave me. I definitely don't regret my undergrad at all. It was super difficult and there was a ton of studying, um, as I'm sure everyone in the Q&A can relate to. Uh, the, you know, the studying is hard and obviously it's um it's different than what I'm doing now, but I definitely love the fact that I have like a physiology and anatomy background. I know not everybody does, and there are a lot of students that are, you know, not from like a traditional science background, um, but I do love that I have that background because I can look back at old notes um, and I can, you know, think back to the classes that I took. 
Um, so that's kind of where I was thinking for my biomed um, major. For my minor, similar to Tony, I did neuroscience. So I know neuroscience and psychology are like a little different, but kind of from the same stream. Um, I just really love learning about the brain like so much, but more like the anatomy and physiology side and also learning about like the tiny little molecular things. <laughs> like I just loved it. Um, again, I don't think I'll be using that information. Well, maybe we'll see. We're not in our neuro unit yet, but I don't think I'll be using a lot of that information, but it was just really nice to learn it. Um, and so that's what I always tell like pre-PAs when they're messaging me and they're in high school and they're like, you know, what major should I choose? I always just say like, choose whatever you love. Like if you love music, do music. If you love art history and you also like science, like do a major and do a minor. Think about doing something that's going to bring you joy because like Tony's from a different background than I am and we're from different backgrounds than all 23 of our classmates, but we all kind of bring something to the table. And I'm sure it's the same for the other programs. It's just so nice that you kind of, you know, you bring something different and everybody learns different things in undergrad and then you come together and kind of learn the clinical things. Um, so yeah, for me, I just kind of chose my majors based on what I liked and what I thought I wanted to do. And it ended up working out for me because when I discovered the PA profession, um, fortunately for me, I had the courses that were required. Um, not that Mac has any anyways, but um, you know, I had the, the background that I wanted to apply to the school that I want and it all ended up working out. So I'm really thankful.